Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to modify your application and enable QLM license protection. If you watched the previous tutorial on how to define your product, you must now have a product defined and ready to be protected. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use the built-in demo product. If you're evaluating QLM, you should also use the built-in demo product. Launch the QLM Management Console and go to the Protect Your Application tab. There are several ways to integrate QLM into your application. In this tutorial, we will demo the simplest approach by using the QLM Standalone License Wizard application. The QLM License Wizard is a standalone graphical user interface that you can optionally use to allow your end user to enter a license key, activate it, and store the key on the end user system. The Protect Your Application wizard will generate two files, one XML file containing customizations that define the behavior and look and feel of the QLM license wizard, and another source code file that you need to add to your application. On the first page of the Protect Your Application wizard, select the product to protect and your license server. On the second page, select the programming language of your application. In this tutorial, we'll use c -sharp. If your programming language is not listed, please contact us to inquire whether integration is possible. On the next page, you can customize the look and feel behavior, and license options of the QLM license wizard. We will leave the default values and proceed. On the final page, you specify a folder where the wizard should generate its files. Two files are generated, an XML file that serves as input to the QLM license wizard. The XML file contains all the customizations that you made in the Protect Your Application wizard and a source code file containing a class in the programming language that you selected. To view the final result of your customizations, click the Test License Wizard button and step through the wizard. Now that we generated the files required to protect your application, let's examine how to integrate QLM with your application. To do so, we will use the QLM Wizard EXE sample located in the Samples folder in this location. Let's open the sample in Visual Studio. This sample simulates your application. Notice first that we added the License Validator CS class, which was generated by the Protect Your Application wizard. When your application is first loaded, we create an instance of the License Validator class and call the Validate License at Startup function. If the Validate License at Startup function fails, we launch the QLM License Wizard with the required arguments. The Settings XML file that is passed as an argument was generated by the Protect Your Application Wizard. Let's build the project and test it. The first time Validate License at Startup is called, it will fail because no license key was ever activated on the system. When it fails, the QLM license wizard is launched and the user can activate a license. Let's create a license from the QLM Management Console. Click the Manage Keys tab, click Create, select the Demo Product, and click OK. This will create a key for the demo product with the default options. Let's copy the key to the clipboard. Paste the key in the QLM license wizard and click Activate. The key is now activated and the application starts up. If we now exit the application and launch it again, the call to validate license at startup will succeed 
and the application will start up normally without prompting the user for a license key. This completes this demo. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.